Kuala with CHS cast and this season is LA theme. In this episode, you will hear people's experience of LA along with other events that have recently occurred. Now, let's check in with Fatima. Hi, my name is Fatima. What's your name? Hello, my name is Bobby Chin. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, you may. So, how long have you lived in LA for? I've lived in LA for like 16 years. Do you plan on leaving LA? Um, it just better it just depends on whether my situation is looking like in the future. What are your favorite like hangout spots in LA? Um, the Rose Garden, Santa Monica Pier, just a couple of regular spots. What's your favorite place to go and eat in LA? Uh, my favorite place to go and eat probably um Taco Mill, Mods Pizza, Wingstop, you know. Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Carolyn. What's your name? My name is Dakai Robbins. Do you plan living in L.A. your whole life? Um, I don't plan on living in L.A. my whole life. I plan on moving once I get older. But I am planning on going to my grandma's hometown in Louisiana. Oh, and do you like helping people out? Like, are you generous? Uh, I am generous. Yesterday I gave a homeless person my lunch. So if the government were to give you $4 billion, what would you do with them to help LA? Um, I would probably give it to a lot of shelters and help out my grandma with her bills and my parents. I'm okay, thank you for answering these questions. Have a good day. Hello, my name is George. What's your name? Chris. I'm, can I ask you some quick questions about your project? Yeah. What was your project about? My project was about making a better Los Angeles. What makes this city better than the one that we're living on? Well, uh, for example, we fixed the problem with the homeless people. We gave them jobs, we gave them a home, and they work in the farms. Thank you. This semester, teachers went on strike. Let's see some footage from the rallies. doing this not just for us, not just for this generation of people, but for every single generation after us. Our goal is that everyone deserves an equal opportunity to have an education in order to succeed. If that opportunity and that option is only available for those who are affluent and those who are wealthy, what's the point that is continuing the stigmatization that the only people who deserve a chance are the affluent and the rich? Wow, that was fantastic. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned till next episode.